the Virginia counties of Kentucky? That doesn't make any sense. But if you are familiar with Kentucky's history, you know Kentucky started as part of the Commonwealth of Virginia, and some of its first counties were actually made by Virginia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, and share this video. So before we get into the Virginia counties of Kentucky, let's set the stage. Virginia was one of the first 13 colonies founded in 1607. As its population grew, so did its western border. By the time Virginia was admitted into the Union in 1788, 181 years later, the state had taken on a different form, and in 1788, it was the largest it would ever be, stretching from the east coast all the way to the Mississippi River. Let's start with the parent counties. In 1745, Virginia created Augusta County, which at the time was the farthest western county of Virginia. And as the border of Virginia pushed west, Augusta County grew and eventually was divided into more counties. On October 7th, 1763, the Proclamation of 1763 prohibited colonists from settling lands west of the Alleghenies. This slowed the push west, but not for long. In 1770, Botetourt County was formed out of the Augusta County, and it was also a large county on the western part of Virginia. By this time in history, many explorers, Thomas Walker, Squire, and Daniel Boone, and long hunters Henry Skaggs and James Knox, had been wandering around the area that would become Kentucky for two decades. This did nothing but increase the interest and push more settlers farther west. Now, to get to a county that you can actually connect to Kentucky, and if you're being technical, the first Virginia County of Kentucky, Fincastle County was created in 1772. It was basically the shape of what would be Kentucky, and parts of what would become West Virginia. It was a large county. No county seat was designated when the county was first formed, but Fincastle, Virginia was eventually named the county seat. So settlers started pouring into Fincastle. James Harrod, Daniel Boone, and Benjamin Logan all arrived and built their forts. Many people followed and problems came with them. As you can imagine, it is hard to get to the county seat to do any official business if your county seat is basically in another state. On top of all that, Daniel Boone was trying to make a new colony with Richard Henderson and the Transylvania Company. So Virginia needed to act again. They decided to create another county, Kentucky County. In 1777, it became officially effective and Harrodstown, currently Harrodsburg, became the county seat. This allowed the settlers to have easier access to local government. It also ended any hope for Richard Henderson and the Transylvania colony. But more settlers came, and more towns were established. By the year of 1780, Kentucky County had a population around 1,000. These settlers were spread out into three locations, Louisville, Harrodsburg, and Lexington. Other towns had sprung up, but not many. But if you're in Louisville, it would take a long time to get to the county seat in Harrodsburg. So Virginia created the first three counties of Kentucky. Lincoln was named after the Revolutionary War General, Benjamin Lincoln, and the county seat was Harrodsburg. Jefferson was named after the governor of Virginia, Thomas Jefferson. The county seat was Louisville. And Fayette, named after Revolutionary War General, Marquis de Lafayette, and all three of these counties were very large compared to what they are today. So the rest is simple. Towns were settled, population grew, and the need for a new county increased. In 1785, after the growth of Bardstown in the early 1780s, Nelson County was formed out of Jefferson County. It was named after the current governor of Virginia, Thomas Nelson Jr., who was also a Revolutionary War General and signer of the Declaration of Independence. In 1786, Bourbon, Mercer, and Madison counties were formed. Bourbon County was named after the French House of Bourbon because they helped during the American Revolution. Hopewell became the county seat, but the name was changed to Paris to honor the French even more. Mercer County was taken out of Lincoln and was named after the Revolutionary War General Hugh Mercer. The county seat was Harrodsburg. Wait, Harrodsburg can't be the county seat of two counties. The county seat of Lincoln County was moved to Stanford. Madison County was also taken from Lincoln and was named after Virginia lawmaker and founding father 
James Madison. The county seat was Milford. The final two Virginia counties of Kentucky were Mason and Woodford. In 1789, the growth of limestone in Washington, the county was easily established, making Washington its county seat. It was taken from the northern part of Bourbon County. George Mason, the father of the Bill of Rights, was honored with the naming of this county. Woodford County was named after William Woodford, another Revolutionary War general, who died in 1780, and it was taken out of Fayette County. The county seat is Versailles. And there you have it, the Virginia counties of Kentucky, 11 counties that Virginia named and formed. Also in this list are the nine original counties of Kentucky. In 1792, Kentucky's population had risen to around 100,000, and on June 1st, it separated from Virginia. These nine counties all stayed counties, but new counties were formed, and by the end of it, 120 counties are now in Kentucky. Hope you've enjoyed learning about this little bit of Kentucky history. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and thank you again for watching. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.